we didn't really give this a special topic today. Sometimes, you know, we work on inner peace or we work on abundance or something special. Mm -hmm. Today it's more about the, the healing in general and also the, the, the reality in the now. Hey, thank you. I'm so happy to see you guys are, we have like such an enthusiastic audience. I feel like you guys somehow were on here before I was. <laughs> and people are so excited. Um, Philip, I was just saying how, can someone here please explain to me full moon and tech? I mean, I, I, I know kind of from my personal experience, but maybe we can like explain for a second from a quantum place. What's happening when there's the full moon and technologies can sometimes go awry, but I don't want to burn any time doing that. Cause I know we have stuff to talk about here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cannot talk too much about the moon, you know, so <laughs> energy is energy. And sometimes you can have just a lot of energy oh, yeah. uh, and uh, you know, it can, can move a lot of things obviously. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's not of a surprise that, you can interfere with Wi-Fi signals that you can harmonize Wi-Fi signals. Yes. <laughs> you can even just with energy, you can basically like break a phone. Yeah. Uh, so it's all these things are possible and they're not out of the ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love, I love like the, the beautiful way that you put it too. You're like, oh, it can like, it can synergize and it can, so, but that's what we're here to do today. So we are back. I'm so excited that you're here. This is like our fifth, fifth being together here. Um, and we're going to have a conversation. We're going to have a healing. Um, we're going to have your beautiful wife on here crew. And then we're going to have a very, very special, um, soul energy that you've spoken of before Roman. So, so how let's let's kind of like dive into it just because I know we, we want to really get everyone settled in and um, create that space to enjoy our time with them today. So let's talk about just so people have kind of a sense of of what they're going to get ready for. Let's talk a little bit about about that. Let's do a quick intro on crew and Roman and um, what we're trying to create here um, and why. Yeah. I start with you know really the healer network that that we work with very very closely so and we've mentioned that in one of the videos some may not have heard it so we have a network of some of the really the best and most amazing healers across the globe that mm -hmm. they're not just some like random people that can do a little bit of healing here and there no they're they're top notch and they've themselves you know worked with hundreds, thousands of people and also have trained hundreds and thousands of other healers uh, across the globe. Mm -hmm. um, that's how uh, special they are. And with them, we, you know, not only developed the technology, but we also continue to develop our products, you know, especially, you know, these frequencies you know, mm -hmm. of various frequencies that we leverage and use for various use cases. I'll give mm -hmm. one example when you know, we have created this inner peace frequency, yeah. which is for anything, you know, when there's like panic attack or you feel stressed and things like that, that helps you to come into balance again. So mm -hmm. you can now do 10 years of research and trial and error and testing and all of that until you find something that works a little bit and then you test it and oh yeah, you know, it works a little bit. We work differently. So we work then with a special healer together or with several at the time. Mm -hmm. And for that specific use case, that specific frequency set is created. Yeah. And then um, we already know exactly what it does. And then for whatever we create it, it's then the optimal frequency orchestration, if you will. Right. And then we go into the, the testing of it. And so it cuts many, many years of development time, frankly, and everything that the science says afterwards is something we already knew to begin with. Right. So now, and you know, 
I think, you know, in the, after all of these amazing live videos here also together with Ian, which I really enjoyed probably the audience did too. We're like, okay, hey, maybe we'll just bring in two of uh, our healers uh, yeah. and we'll actually do a little group healing. That's how we called it. And you get to experience that life basically. And uh, yeah, you, you know, you will feel it. Yes. So uh, just be, be open to it and it'll be, it'll be fun for sure. So, yes, oh. yes. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I, I had some questions about it um, because there were some people, you know, quite often someone maybe can't make it because, um, you know, they have work or, you know, they, they, they w wait for the replays. There were questions in advance that if I can't make it, will I still feel the healing? Will I still receive that if I watch the replay? Um, you know, after the fact, and that question came up a few times. And so I wanted to at least prep, you know, in case someone has to step out because they have a meeting or, you know, um, how, how that works. Yeah. So if you're on already, then I would definitely, uh, try to stay on, you know, that's the recommended way because that's going to be live. However, if you're having this recording now in front of you, it still works. All you need to do is that you just tune into this energy and time and space when this um video was recorded and we did the work because the energy is there it doesn't go it's as if you know think of it as like a little bowl with a lot of different fruits and there's this one specific raspberry i put it there and mm -hmm. you can always point to that right that's mm -hmm. the same thing the energy is there just tune in and uh it's still the energy will still work for you it's mm -hmm. uh, no problem but uh, yeah, to, to introduce maybe Crew and, and Roman. So yes. Crew was born with the ability to see aura and, um, and energy fields. And she, she never had lost this conscious connection to the divine, right? That's what had happened to me. And, and frankly, that happens to most everyone here, right? If you look around. Um, yeah, uh, and could I interject you right there? I love that you said that because it's almost like we as souls, we have a connection with divine and, and we lose it. And so, um, and, and when, when do we lose it? Do we lose it at birth? You know, do we lose it with trauma? Like, when do we lose it? Um, how do we know and how do we reconnect? And I know that's a longer conversation, but just because you can attune to the fact that you kind of lost your connection and how she kept hers throughout yes. her human journey, you know? Yeah, so the, the connection we never ever lose. So the connection is always there. Everyone is divine and um, comes from the divine. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. But we, what we lose is this remembering, the, the awareness of it, basically. We forgot, right? We right. forgot that we are divine right. and that the divine is our origin. And by the way, you can call it divine, you can call it God, you can call it spirit, you can call it universal or eternal consciousness, infinite consciousness, however you want to call it, right? It's just yeah. word. words. Words yeah. all describe the same, the same. Yeah. And, you know, I explain this, you know, it's usually what, how it happens when we enter this realm, right? And on, on earth, that's, that's usually, and that's usually the path because it's, sort of a contemplation from the infinite right when you are in the infinite then everything is infinite and everything is at all times there you no know, time exists and all that and here it's actually even though it feels hard and crazy sometimes and there's a lot of suffering it actually is it's almost like a vacation for the divine aspects you know to experience a different dimensions where you have time and space and you have forgetting and you have um a, a, it's everything is dual right because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all have these polarities and everything mm -hmm. anyway so then the path is to kind of remember it throughout life again and that's you know what we're all on right on that path and yeah. thankfully I'm, I'm i'm grateful that i was able to remember that again you know and and yeah. you want to help other people to remember that also again because that's that's our true nature and it's amazing when that starts to open up when you start to feel that again and you can bring that into your life because then you can live life also from a different 
a different perspective. Mm -hmm. But you know, there are a few people that, and, and you can gain that, right? And every everyone can get there again, and everyone has also, in a way, some special abilities, right? They're they're mm -hmm. not really special. There's just we forgot, we didn't practice them. The world isn't really set up to help us remember. It's actually doing exactly the opposite, right? So everything we see around here with the news, with oh my God, the bad food, bad air, and all that's all basically there to make it a little bit more difficult for us to actually find who we are and find our own power. Now, we can, we can gain all that back, uh, as I said, and some people have never lost that. So crew and Roman are, you know, two of those. So, yeah. you know, um, and, you know, it's not that they're all perfect with everything that's like no one really is right but they are they have amazing capabilities in the sense and certainly over the time have been able to build those out because if you have that connection and you have this knowing all the time and then you realize you can see the quote unquote unseen yeah that is then you can do a whole lot more you can explore that more you can learn more and uh and help other people also with it and mm -hmm. so with roman and you know, Roman works on a very, very granular level. Like he can see each and every frequency um, in a so detailed way. Like you could go into your living room and I could ask you, can you please pick up that green flower or that white candle and take it and bring it into the kitchen? It's very easy for us, you know, to do that. But if I said, okay, so could you pull a vitamin C frequency and the frequency of iron uh, you know, out of this ether, basically, and then put yeah. it into a glass of water or into, I don't know, something else and combine yeah. the frequencies, then, you know, it would start to get really difficult. But for him, it's basically like that, you know, like going in the living room, picking out that and doing that because it's very easy. Um, as an 11 year old already, he was on stage in, uh, in, in Europe helping 300 people there that were in a seminar with their life problems and with their health issues. And, mm -hmm. you know, very early on, you know, his, his parents realized, you know, that he's very special because he could see all the vibration, uh, the heartbeat and everything. And he didn't even have to be in front of the person, right? Mm -hmm. He could, you know, uh, thousands of miles away, but that's the, the same with crew. You don't have to be in front of her because she can tune into your energy field and she can read it. And that's actually one of her specialties that she can read your energy field extremely well. And she can, you know, if you come with a problem that you have, she always can see the root course pretty much instantly, why that is and what you can do to actually change and transform it. That's really one of her specialties. She has very specialties. Now, Roman specialty, everyone has different specialties, right? Roman specialty is this, super granular seeing and also moving almost on a physical level the energies really really quickly so that things even in the body can be you know adjusted and you know now we have 584 people on that's actually that's quite a drop from last time <laughs> so, yeah i don't i'm not quite sure why but i also don't always pay that much attention to these numbers because yeah, maybe, it, like I, when i turn it off it'll be like fifteen thousand, and i'm like i didn't see fifteen thousand. um yeah. and so it, it, it's numbers but exactly um, and the point is that you know whether it's 600 or 1500 so it doesn't really matter and yeah. when we do the work We'll work with each one of the um, people that are on, okay? Yeah. And even even then the ones that will tune in, even though that's hard to understand because they can just tap into the field, but it's all gonna happen in parallel. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not that we just take like a millisecond for each one, it's, it's, it's literally, it happens differently because the space we're doing that from is pretty much beyond time and space, if that makes sense. And also, as an additional one i have block, infinity block that we have wait that's a giant 1200 on the hawkins scale <gasps> um wow and and you can actually ask ian because ian also got to experience it and 
uh, when he was here and he actually- oh, Was that your birthday weekend? Or Crew's birthday weekend? Crew's birthday weekend, yes. And he- uh, so, yeah. Um, he also calibrated it. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's quite powerful. So we'll, we'll add that into the work and it's, it's gonna be quite fun. But yeah, you know, and, and it's, we, we love to talk about these things also when they're woo woo, but now it can be maybe tangible for some people. So, yeah. you know, just tune in, be open-minded and, and feel, you know, what's gonna happen. Oh, Ian is there actually, I'm seeing that right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Hi, bestie. I texted him right before. <laughs> uh, I texted him right before. Hi, bestie. Um, you know, and a couple of uh, some other questions and, and, you know, there may be more people that jump on in a few minutes or not. How, however, um, there are a lot of people in the community that now have products, you know, they've gone on, they've um, either, whether it's the capsule or the necklace or, or, or the, you know, the cards, you know, or, or the blocks. And so, you know, should they have their items present with them? Um, is what some people ask, like, is there anything they need to do other than to just receive? Do they need to write their intentions, the releases, like, you know, you know, just kind of like normal questions that people ask when yeah. they're about to enter a healing space? Great question. So mm -hmm. there's nothing that you need to do. You don't need to have any products. You certainly can. Like if you feel called that the special product you want to have, like I felt called to have the heel capsule today. So that's what I'm doing. There's no yeah. like, brain behind it. It's just like, I felt mm -hmm. I want to wear it right now. So I'm doing it. So do the same thing. And mm -hmm. um, you also don't have to write down intentions or so. However, it can be good, right? Because if we enter a very powerful space where healing will be possible on an energetic level mm -hmm. and you'll notice that you know there's always only so much that can go and that can be transformed at a given time mm -hmm. for each person right because everyone is so different and some things we may not be ready to actually let go or to transform so mm. we'll go as deep as we can and mm -hmm. what can be helpful is if if you have something that bothers you in your life, for example, or that makes you sad, or you know you just can't get over it, mm -hmm. um, these types of things, you know, if you bring those into your awareness and think, okay, well, you know, I would really, you know, heal this, or I would really like to transform this, or to finally let that go, or just help me to let it go more, something mm -hmm. like that, you know, if you bring those things up and have them in this space, mm -hmm. then you know they'll become even more visible and and you'll have a much greater chance of, of, of them, you know, letting them go, whatever, you know, is, is, is the actually intention. Yeah. Uh, ho however, however, the energy needs to be received, you know, for that, whether it's transmuting or healing or aligning or synchronizing, however it is to be open that the energy comes to you in you through you and, and you can receive how um how how it can best serve you that's probably what, the best thing to keep in mind um you know there's been a, a bunch of people that have come on and said you know what can we what's happening today we're doing this uh beautiful truly just it's i'm so grateful to be here you know to be able to receive this uh to receive what we're going to receive in just about maybe like the next 10 or 15 minutes or so we'll start that process but um, Philip has been so kind to share with us um, his wife, Crew, who is an incredible healer, and also Roman, who is another incredible healer. They're, they're unicorns, you know, um, and they are in the network of healers that he has teamed up with. They've teamed up with Lila Quantum, and they're the ones that really help uh, create what's tangible to us uh, if, and, if, to just sort of really almost crudely summarize the magic that they do. And they're gonna sit with us for about, you know, 20, 25, 30 minutes today. And we're gonna have a group healing experience and it will be profound. I am experiencing it for the first time with you guys. I haven't yet been blessed with this opportunity. So I'm super grateful um, and I just can't wait. And, um, and we'll do another quick little sum up because I know some people have jumped on and jumped off. But really, we just want you to receive. You know, we just want you to receive. Um, there's nothing special that you need to do. We'll help you drop into that space, especially when our special guests come. But um, but what I can say is, 
if you're at work, if you're hiding in a closet, if you're sitting in your car, you know, you're at home, if you gotta like put the baby down <laughs> for 20 minutes or so, or maybe have the baby with you. Um, just just try to just really get present with with what you're you're here to receive, um, so that you can really receive and just kind of take a moment to honor this blessing that we get to be a part of. So we know that if, if you can be here, amazing. Um, and there's going to be a lot of people that will be able to view this replay after, whether, it, whether it's through the YouTube channels or everywhere else that we're going to share it. Um, uh, the question is, the question, what, or I'm, I'm nuancing the question, but basically when they watch the replay, um, should they set it up in a certain way? You know, because um, you are, you're saying be in this place and time where it took place, which is we're doing kind of virtual. When they watch the replay, are they supposed to simulate the same experience? Meaning you like- know, What <laughs> I suggest is to really tune in with, you know, your whole being, with your heart, just tune mm -hmm. in. Like if, just don't just listen to it while you're driving in the car. It's just like, you know, yeah. sit down and tune in, you know, and then, yeah. then energy will be available. That's no problem. We've, we've done these, you know, group sessions and webinars many, many yeah. times. All yeah. Over the same thing yeah it's yay hi, <laughs> hi <laughs> Hello. it's so uh, so happy really really belated birthday i heard of oh yes I heard all about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so good to connect with you here um even yes. though i know we've already connected here um it's so good to connect with you here um, thank you for having me <laughs> thank you for being here both of you thank you for everything that you do um I find myself talking about it on a daily basis. You know, I was, I was just at an, I, I was just at an event, and I'll keep this super brief. Just a couple, a couple nights ago, an entrepreneurial, uh, you know, dinner, and um, and there was a woman wearing her capsule, you know, and and I had my capsule, it, I, I had a, um, I had my capsule in my jacket, you know, normally I wear it around my neck, but because of the dress I was wearing, it was just kind of banging around everywhere. So I had it in my, and I saw her and it was almost like, ah, it was almost like an instant hug, you know, it's a community, even though I'm already in community. And so then we were chatting all about it. And, and I just find myself sharing about what you guys are doing all the time on a daily basis. So um, everything that we do here is just so, so important as you already know beyond the tangible it's just helping people it's helping to educate people and and even for myself it's so helpful to watch it over and over because there's little things that i miss and then a question that i may not have until later comes up in the course of these lives that helps me answer later and i've gotten that from the community as well so That's thank amazing. you much so again um uh okay so we already gave you an intro, but I would love if you could share it for a few minutes um, before Roman jumps on uh, a little bit. Oh, wait, there is Roman. You can still share. So we'll accept. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so shy. I don't like talking about myself. So okay. I'm I've, just... I've done that already. <laughs> so, so you kind of did it for you. Hi. Hi, Roman. Hi, Hi Roman. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's so good to meet you here. Uh, it's so, it's so, um, it's such a gift to share space with you, with all of you. Um, we, we've already given you an intro. If, if you aren't too shy about chatting about yourself for a couple of minutes, I would love for the audience to hear your voice and your resonance. Um, well, speaks German, so it, ah, you can okay. say something, but then I'll need to translate it and, okay. <laughs> but I mean, you know, however you like. Yeah, that works too. If he has anything to say, please say. Um, if not, then uh, we can start, you know, kind of going into a space where we can kind of settle and get present um, however you like. But I'd like to give him a chance to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Willst du was sagen, Roman? Uh, irgendwas? Um, oder gleich in die Arbeit gehen? Ähm, ja, ich würde sagen, also ich, es ist wunderschön dabei zu sein und dass wir da zusammen jetzt diese Energie aufbauen, ist ja mega. Und ähm, einfach äh, so viel Erschaffe zusammen zu sein, ist mal was ganz Tolles. So, he's saying, um, thank you that he can be here and he, um, he thinks it's amazing that we can now do this group healing um, and in this 
big space mm-hmm. gonna be gonna be fun and yeah and powerful yay thank you so much well obviously i don't need to translate what you may want to say so i'm just glad to be here and it's always great when we are together like uh, some of the listeners have maybe joined us with webinars before and um it's always so amazing what is possible when the three of us join mm-hmm. our powers so this has been a while for us to sit together in this greater context so this is amazing it really feels good i'm ca- i can already feel it how it's starting to connect all the little connections and expanding the field <laughs> yeah and, it's amazing and okay. so, you know, i had sent you the you know the outline and maybe you know the yeah. how our, our interest is so what, what we thought is you know because we don't have that much time today is not like an hour webinar so we we'll just do like a maybe five minute uh it's we call it like the pre-healing phase so that's how you could could call it where we'll uh, help with an energy field that everyone can like tune in with themselves really mm-hmm. and really get very present in the body and feel themselves uh, in here in this physical reality and uh and it will be so wonderful to play some music for that yes. and We're then after, yeah mm-hmm. and then you know then not one of us will start saying something and then you can tune down the music again and then we'll give everyone the chance maybe for a minute or two to just type in the chat how they feel and then after that we'll go into the real like healing it'll be like 10 15 minutes or so and uh we didn't really give this a special topic today sometimes you know we work on inner peace or we work on abundance or something special mm-hmm. today it's more about the the healing in general and also the 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 reality in the now you know not really you know well we can kind of wipe out the past and the the future and be really be really here in the now and we'll do you know our work all of us will will do something and then you know you can share a little bit in the chat afterwards and yeah then you know just enjoy the rest of the day afterwards yeah it's so beautiful you something or for the I, europeans tonight so. <laughs> yeah. well i can go ahead and start playing the music um and then um if you would like to out uh, maybe crew can help kind of like lead us into that space um if or unless you want me to but we'll just kind of get everyone present in their body because i mean this is just it's so magic that we have you all here i'm um, gonna I'm going to be done talking now after I play. <laughs> 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 it wasn't even proper English, but basically I'm playing music. and, and Won't <laughs> talk much during this either. Like crew may say some words in between, but in general, it's really, it's the energy and mm-hmm. you, can, you can be, you know, whatever you feel like you can lay down, you can sit down, you can close your eyes, you can open your eyes. It's really up to you. It's you who matters. Okay, great. Maybe everybody can, everybody who's listening can start with giving themselves like a really good self hug. Just to feel that presence in the body like really well, you know, like can contain your energy in your own space and then start going to your, take your awareness to breathing because the breath helps a lot to center and to receive. And you can just in the beginning observe the breath, how it is coming in and out just so naturally by itself. And then you can slowly lengthen the breath to go deeper. And feel yourselves how they're vibrant and alive. And just let your thoughts go in the background of your mind and keep your attention and your awareness with your breath.
So now feel your breath and feel yourself. And if you had closed your eyes, feel free to keep them closed or to open them and to write in the chat how you feel. Some people are writing, some people are writing to, to the question box inside here. Somebody says, I see, I feel light, relaxed, peaceful, lighter. grounded, beautiful, um, expanded, relaxed, peaceful, present and grounded, wonderful, kind of peaceful, full of love. I said, I hungry. just, hungry. <laughs> um, someone Dip. said their HRV has risen. Alfonso uh, mentioned uh, depressive and Alfonso that's uh, I'm glad you're mentioning that because yeah I mean it's 99% people here seem to feel great right now but it certainly can happen that these deeper things come up and if, if that is coming up right now you know it's it's great that it's coming up and now you can keep it there don't push it away because maybe in the next 10-15 minutes you'll be able to release some of that you know like clouds that you can release and that can can transform mm -hmm. and then i have some coming through here in this chat box it's lighter happier heart beating fast um list connected the crown is open and pulsing wow. um, blissful someone on the box um not here where we can all see it but said um pressure uh that was interesting pressure um low back pain uh, -huh. uh infinity all these quote unquote things that you know are uncomfortable it, that's you know you know let them be up there and mm -hmm. uh it's often when we awaken something um, and uh, we feel what is really there that it needs to find its way out. And sometimes if it is something depressing or feeling dark, then just imagine how you're diving through it in the next exercise. And if there's pressure um, in, the back, in the lower back, for instance, that it, the, our power sit down here at the end of the spine. And when that awakens, then there can be pressure on the lower back. And so we just um, allow it to rise and expand through all parts of ourselves. Then it doesn't have to be all the pressure on the lower back. That is just one example. Like in, in general, there's of course, everything is very individual, but nothing is unfixable. Like, just like Philip said, let it rise, let it be there, accept it, and then release it. Yeah. And Daniel, you didn't miss out on anything when you had the sound off. You can turn it on now. And uh, it's all about you anyway, right now, being present. I think we can move now into the the next phase and may i address one um question that came in through privately um and it was about a feeling of hopelessness um and so what can what can the the, the energies the souls the people on here or who may listen to this to this again later um you know how can they fully receive um if that's if that's the emotion and the feeling that they have right now should I say something to that? Go ahead. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, 
um, when we feel hopeless, then then we feel like what hopelessness comes from being disconnected. So that is not changing right away, even if we do five minutes or 10 minutes of amazing work. And, and maybe it does, you know, like, I mean, who knows, uh, miracles uh, can happen. But usually that hopelessness comes from not feeling the connection because we are connected at all times. We are never ever separated from anything that is true to us. And, mm. but we do feel it as separated sometimes and feel that disconnect is very real. And then we feel hopeless because we have lost that touch to what creates safety and, and the ability to move forward. Mm -hmm. So if whoever that just wrote can just allow us to take her into this reconnection to herself now, like it's nothing she has to do other than just allow us to create a space to reconnect to what is truly there. And then, from there, there will be many little steps into hope again or into presence, which is really the most desired um, thing, you know, like when you're in presence and you can resolve whatever is going on and you will know what is the next step. And then hope is not necessary. It just um, naturally is there. So what we need right now is just for him or her to allow um, us to reconnect to the true self mm -hmm. and uh, that's the only step that needs to be taken right now that's perfect um and thank you for that but, um, and, um, roman is there anything that you want to say for the next 10 15 minutes anything to people mm -hmm. um also we werden dann verschiedene felder aufbauen energetisch und ich habe mir gedacht, dass wir wahrscheinlich am besten noch das Freiheitsfeld mit reinnehmen, dass die Freiheit, in der sich in jeder Zelle aufgeht, so dass jedes Feld in dem sich aufmacht und dass sie dann mit dem Freiheitsfeld wieder die Connection haben in alle Richtungen. Okay, so Roman just said, you know, for for everyone, he wants to add that um, we'll open up uh, several energy fields. Um, right now uh, during this work and that mm -hmm. we'll feel and be able to connect to and the, he suggested we take one uh, extra field that's a special field of freedom the the field of free being free that that also is basically felt in every cell and mm -hmm. through that field of the energy field of the freedom basically that the connection can also easier happen again Mm -hmm. Did I get that right, crew? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, shall we begin? I'll, I'll go ahead and play the music and you can um, lead into the next 10 or 15 minutes. And um, again, that's all I'm going to say once I start playing. And it's crew, that was so beautiful. Um, if you can lead us back into that space. Mm hmm. So I think now, by now, everybody has a really good feeling to their physical presence, but still, you know, like hold yourself once more really tight and gentle at the same time and allow to feel yourself how you're so present in this touch of yourself and then go with your attention to your breath. Let the breath naturally come in and out, just like it always does. Allow all observations and all thoughts now to go into the background. And keep your awareness only with your breath. Follow it in and out. And with every inhale, you expand into your presence for this moment. And with every exhale, 
you settle down into your present moment. Inhale, expand and exhale. Concentrate and settle into your presence. Allow the music to take you into more and more expansion and more and more concentration and settling into your own self.
Bapak. Slowly turn down the music. So, yeah, please share in the chat um, how you feel, what you may have noticed, if you like. I, I just turned it back on. There were so many comments about how they couldn't see Roman and crew. So I, I turned it off just during the um, meditation part. But it's back on now, so you guys feel free to comment. Relax. Beautiful, beautiful. I can, can, may I share for a second that I, yes. I mean, I feel um, lighter, but lighter in this, it's in an expanse of everything is, everything is brighter. There, um, just brighter, more expansive, as if my, as if my field, the field is further, further out than it was before. Um, and so light, so much love, so much um, just joy, joy. Um, joy, heart, lots of peace. Oh. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> All right, sorry, boyfriend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the divine is more important than the boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my whole head is tingling. A lot of tingles, heat. A lot of people talking about heat, temperature. In the box here, relaxing, love, hopeful, heat. Uh, tingles. Roman, do you want to say something about the heat? Why the heat rises when we do these things? Da wir jetzt ja in uns uns frei gemacht haben, alles in uns wieder angefangen zu kommunizieren, physisch, geistig. Yes. And because now we, since we opened up all of the cells towards freedom, and we have created all the space for every single little thing in us it starts to everything starts to communicate and resonate with one another mm. Mm. on the energetic mm. end of it yes oh. yes mm. no. und dadurch dass wir natürlich dann über anfangen zu, wieder in die kommunikation zu kommen äh, entsteht natürlich ähm, die wärme dass wir das natürlich die herz oder die, die ebene der liebe aber auch natürlich alle anderen ebenen wo wir die kommunikation haben sich so auszudehnen, dass wir wirklich wieder mit uns in der Eigenliebe widersprechen. Okay, so and because of this, uh, because of all the communication that is now happening again, there's, and it creates new connections of, for the love that we feel for ourselves, it connects us to our heart space. I'm sorry, there's people on the street, I hope it's oh. not... <laughs> no, that's all right. That's perfect. <laughs> Basically, like there's so much energy, so much movement. Feeling the heat is almost like that tangible, the physiological manifestation of that movement of energy. Yes, yeah, so it's sure. like this that when the heart space starts to be reactivated and everything is communicating with one another, yeah. then that creates this heat and also provides the space um, for us to really touch this space of self-love and acceptance again mm. and that mm. opens so many other um, aspects uh, woman yeah. that's what you want, right 
Genau, richtig. Und das ist natürlich auch passiert, dass dann der Verstand sich frei macht und mhm. dann sich integriert mit einer wirklich wunderschönen Energie. Das heißt, man ist nicht mehr mit der Außenwelt in der Negativkommunikation, sondern in seiner eigenen echten Kommunikation. And uh, also what happens when we um, get in resonance and communication and we open this heart space that our, our mind um, becomes free, freer and that we get into a self-communicating um, space in which we create beautiful connection and resonance to our, towards ourselves and then also have much uh, more beautiful resonance with the outside because we are more drawn towards in and being in resonance with our own and so we attract this in the outside world as well and then everything becomes much more easier in the with the outside world beautiful well thank you both all of you so much all three of you thank you to the audience uh, we may have to just do a little bonus and do something again if we can um this is mesmerizing and magical and i want to make sure that we can capture it all in the and the in um the replay so i'm going to jump off now so we don't have well, i don't want to have to cut anything in edits but i'm, I'm going to connect with you all right now on text if you can thank you so much so grateful to you so grateful to the audience um and i think we might just have to pull together something a little special for you guys all after this so yes. thank you guys so much and thank you to you. Thank you to you, Serena, for providing all this space for us and for everybody. And that is also really important. So thank you to you. Thank, thank you. you for the connections. Thank yeah. you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, everybody.